Welcome to Leading Organizations That Matter, a podcast on the topics of leadership, organizational culture, and finding meaning and purpose in our work. I'm the host, Ray Spadoni, former CEO and current consultant, author, and speaker. Today's topic is negative budget variances. Now, I've worked with a lot of organizations going through financial turnarounds and transformations, and I have written and spoken quite a bit about organizational culture and accountability. But there's one aspect of an organization's performance that I have not directly discussed until now. The issue is this, negative budget variances. More specifically, what happens when they take place? In some organizations, the answer is, eh, not so much. When that's the case, I know it's time to dig deeper. Okay, so as you know, the preparation of a budget is one of the most basic and necessary tools that businesses use to organize their work and to measure performance. For some, however, it's actually a perfunctory exercise, highly top-down, and ultimately not particularly meaningful. As a result, negative budget variances, whether positive or negative, are not all that relevant to anybody. You know, you have good months, you have bad months, whatever. This could happen because the organization's revenues and expenses are so historically predictable and non-volatile that the budget is almost meaningless. Or it could happen because of a historically strong, uh, paternalistic type management approach, whereby just one or two people go into a back room and voila, out comes a budget. Or it could happen because there is a major accountability problem at that organization. It's this last situation I'd like to comment on here. Now, I'm sure it goes without saying that if you're a department manager and you are running behind on your budget and no one asks about it, or they do and you can consistently talk your way out of it without incident, then you are not going to pay too much attention to that budget. It has little consequence to your day-to-day, so frankly, why bother? You probably always have bigger fish to fry anyways. But if there are consequences, well, then that's a different story. I'd like to suggest that whenever a leader is evaluating the performance of a company, a subsidiary, program, department, and there are negative budget variances, those who are most accountable for it should be asked to characterize that negative budget variance in one of three ways. And they have to pick just one. The first is, our initial plan is still the right plan, but we miss the timing and we just need more time. The second is, we had one or more curveballs coming at us that were unanticipated and here's what they were. Of course, this then begs a follow-up question. Could those curveballs have been either anticipated or planned for in advance in some way? And then the third is, The plan was bad either because we made bad assumptions or more likely were over-optimistic. Break it down into these three and use a bit of elbow grease to get the accountable person or persons to declare whether their negative budget variance is behind door number one, two, or three. Again, they are one. The plan was good, but we missed on the timing. Two, there were curveballs. Three, the plan was bad. The first year through this could be uncomfortable for some, especially for those who weren't paying much attention to the budget development in the first place. But this will significantly transform the organization's culture for the better. In the future, people will know this question and your three categories that they're coming and they'll think about their answer in advance. This can be transformative to the culture, but again, It will take two or three cycles to stick. How you handle negative budget variances says a lot about how you lead your organization forward and into the future. Thanks for listening. I hope you'll consider subscribing to this podcast 
and providing a review on Apple Podcasts or your platform of choice. Feel free to learn more about me and my work at Red Sail Advisors. Thank you.